The object of this exercise is to ensure that Iran's nuclear program will always remain peaceful and to remove all the restrictions that have been imposed on Iran, in our view, unjustifiably. Uh, that is why we believe that we can, in fact, reach an agreement if there is the necessary political will to make the tough choices. And everybody has to make tough choices. We have made the choice to engage in negotiations, although we believe that the, this entire exercise was unnecessary. This was a manufactured crisis, as we have seen time and again. People have, have been predicting for the past 20 years that Iran was a year away from making a bomb, and that prediction has been proven wrong time and again. But unfortunately, that is the reality that uh, this hysteria that has been fanned uh, continues to be fanned. And we try to resolve that problem. So we have come to the negotiating table. We have shown the political will to resolve this issue. I believe the other side needs to exercise the same political will, the same resolve, make the same tough choices that sanctions and an agreement don't go together. You can either have sanctions and continue to seek the path of confrontation or try to resolve this issue through negotiations and through an agreement. I believe we are very close to the latter, but if people try to choose the former, that is their prerogative, but that's the wrong decision that they'll be making. You believe you're quite close to making a deal, that it could be possible. You are obviously referring to the speech by the Israeli Prime Minister in Congress. As he was trying to make sure that deal didn't get signed or done, what was the effect around, uh, on you all around the negotiating table? Well, there was no effect on the negotiating table, but I can see that he is trying, and some people uh, who associate with him try to create an atmosphere uh, that of an atmosphere of hysteria, an atmosphere of fear mongering, uh, based on lies and deception, uh, that that try to prevent a deal from taking shape. And I, I do not see why, because I, the only reason, the only explanation that you can have here is that some people con con consider peace and stability as an existential threat, because a deal cannot be threatening to anybody unless you want conflict and tension and mistrust and uh, crises.